Because we have a, a male and a female, and they're bonded behaviorally, and they, she produced eggs last year, and she just produced her first egg this year, and we didn't want to have three more infertile eggs. So we took semen this that was sent from Spencer, Iowa, and injected it into her, and so her next few eggs, we hope, two of the three that remain will probably be fertile. That's our hope. So, uh, artificial insemination, long distance, I don't think it's been done around here before, so certainly not at a high school. So we're excited now, let's hurry up and wait. So probably 10 days from now, we should have four eggs, total clutch, and then uh, 20 more days, we'll see if they're fertile. Well, we hatch them here behind me in these machines, and we raise them to about 12 days, tender loving care, and then we give them back to the parents to raise uh, until they're about 70 days, and then they might go to release, they could go to other falconers, they might go to breeders and other breeding facilities. So we've probably produced, I think it's over 60 peregrines at this facility, as well as some hybrids. Um, and the hybrids that we produced a couple of years ago were actually used to chase gulls off the runways, which was pretty creative. <laughs>